The spirit of poverty has been over the valley like a dark cloud and we believe that uh, God is telling us that it's time to take it back and that uh, our prayer would be that uh, this spirit of poverty, both spiritually and physically, would be uh, would come to an end and the people could start uh, believing in themselves. Well, you know, I had uh, 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 I'd never seen such, uh, such poverty as there is here in McDowell County. I, I believe uh, some people say it's the poorest uh, county in the, in the country. This used to be the richest county in the state of West Virginia. Now it's the poorest county and the forgotten county. A lot of drugs uh, in, the, in the community, a lot of the mothers in, uh, in rehab and that type of thing. Now meth is coming along and cocaine and heroin and all of this stuff to, to blend in with what they're getting from prescription drugs. A lot of, uh, of course, right now it's prescription drug and this thing called meth, uh, but uh, you know, it just takes over their life. When, when people don't have hope, they turn to, to something and I, I suppose that, uh, that drugs is, 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 is where they go, no hope. It tears my heart apart, you know, because I, I you don't want to see children suffer. Uh, the children is the ones that's being neglected. There are children in this county, and if they don't eat in school, they don't even get a meal. So, and I, I'm sure it's happening all, all around, but we can see what's happening here because we're here. Teenagers are having babies and giving them over to their gran grandma to, to take care of them, and grandma doesn't have the time and energy to, to take care of them the way they should. She treats them more like a grandchild than she would a child, and that's really not the way God designed it. Many health problems, uh, many uh, children born with birth defects. Uh, maybe it's uh, uh, soil contamination from old mercury that was left from the mining days. I don't know what it is, but uh, many, many health problems. I think there's more birth defects in, in West Virginia probably than any other state. They feel like they're worthless. And none of God's people are worthless. And uh, if we just trust in Him and, and do what we're supposed to do, then the Lord will help us do the other things that we need. Well, I hope to see happy children from all over the county. You guys were here in 09 and did a fantastic job. Dove Broadcasting does a fantastic job with their, with their Christmas program, one of the best I've ever seen. And uh, I know we'll see a lot of happy, smiling families and children uh, in, in December this year. You can change lives. Not only can you change a child's life today, but you can change a child's eternity. And so this will give us a really great opportunity to be able to get into people's lives and be able to invite them to a Christmas program where they can receive gifts and food and things like that for their children and for their, for their family. So it would be a great way to, to start a relationship with somebody and, and minister a lot of the times the way Jesus ministered in meeting people's physical needs along with their spiritual needs. If we are able to even just get one little line of ministry to them, that, that, that would be a great help. That would be a great help. A simple toy or a blanket or some food um, to a family who doesn't have much um, provides an inlet into their lives so that we can share about Christ. Why, why are we giving gifts? Because Jesus Christ gave His life as a gift for us.